Okay, this video tutorial is on using the hidden tool. The hidden tool is one I find particularly useful and hopefully you will too. The hidden tool is um, a tool that toggles, so it turns objects on and off or hides and shows them alternately as you toggle. Now I've got this page set up for my year 11 science class microbiology and I don't want them to be able to see all this text right at the beginning and I don't want them to see this picture that's going to be something we talk about later on. So I want them to see the heading and that first sentence there. So if I click on this sentence I can use this as my object I'm going to click to hide the next bit of text. I need to go to my action browser and in the top drop down menu I'm going to go to object actions and then I'm going to go to alphabetical, through alphabetical order, and find the hidden tool, which I will highlight. Then I go to my action properties down the bottom of the menu, click on the browse button, and I want to select the text that I want to hide. And there it is there. So I'll click OK for that, <clears throat> and then I'll go apply changes. Now if I go back and click on the object, well, you can see the blue arrow on it, it shows that it's now an action object. If I click on that, I can hide that text. And in doing so, you might have noticed that my action browser changed and now the hidden tool is right there. So now I have this real world connection with a wee picture, that's a group. That group is going to be my next um, action object and I want to hide this group here. I've already grouped the picture of the person with tonsillitis and the text underneath it. It's already grouped as you can see by that highlighted square above it. So I'll go back to my real world connection. I'm going back to my action browser and select hidden again. This time I'm looking for a group and that is shown by a pen with the number one Two, that's a real world connection and this is the one I want, my picture with the text. Select OK and apply changes again. Now when I collect on my real world connection that picture will change. Now what I'll do as I was introducing this page, um, we talk a bit about excretion, get students to give me their ideas about excretion, have a discussion there and then I can click on that bit of text and bring up the second bit of text. If I want to, I can hide it again, bring it back up, toggles. Um, and then to show them a real world connection on top of what we've already discussed, the ideas that they would have come up with themselves, I can show them tonsillitis. And a lot of them would have experienced tonsillitis themselves or someone in the family's had tonsillitis so they understand what we're talking about with tonsillitis. The, the photo will gross them out suitably and um, it will help explain exactly what tonsillitis is and most of them will not know that. So it's a nice simple tool to use and it's very effective.